Hello, yay! Um, I've got a bit of an unboxing video for you. So I ordered, I think it's about four kilograms, something like that. It's from um, a charity. Um, and so I'm guessing it's, well, it's going to be all costume jewellery, but you never know. And something just spiked me, so that's fun. So I've got my baggies next to me, uh, ready for broken and ready for like two kilogram lots and stuff. There you go. So from a charity. Um, and we'll see what, if anything, we can find in here that maybe of some use or maybe something that I'd like to keep or something that I'd like to sell or something that might be um, on a whatnot show. This looks like an earring caught up in here. These hooks always get caught up. Um, are you silver? I can't see any marks. I don't think you are. But there we go. Right. Pearlies normally go into a full pearly lot. Uh, I've got one on the go at the moment. Ooh. That's quite nice. Some kind of stone, maybe like a jasper or something, but it's got this cute little heart at the front. That's quite nice. That might be something I sell separately, so I'll put that aside. I've got a big chunk of some wood and then some more faux pills and another earring. Are you anything? No, don't think so. Oh, and of course the faux pearl explosion. So we'll get rid of that straight away before it causes any more trouble. Right. Big chunky wooden thing attached to that pink thing. Let's see if we can get something out of here. What are you doing there? It's a silver tongue snaky chain. Oh, come on. Oh, there's another one all tangled up. Of course. Right. Okay, so this first one, that's quite a pretty little one. Oh, I've got chisholm at my feet. That's quite nice. Can't see what it says. I think, oh, it says 18 karat gold plated. That'll probably go into a little silver tone pendant slot. Or silver tone pendant necklace slot. And so will that one. Nice colours on that. That's quite cool. Yeah, did you think so too, Shizuma? You like the pink, do you? Um, these ones all look like they want to stay attached, so that's fine. These two, so they're going to go in a bag of chunky stuff. We've got stretchy bracelet, wood and silver tone metal, and drop earring. That's quite a chunk of one as well, with all its sparkly bits there. Twisted little glass beads, quite some pretty beads on there. And another little odd earring. These are all glass beads, they're quite nice. I like that colour. Pretty little things. Get rid of that pearl. Cute little charm bracelet with these sort of flowery discs on them. Now, did that come off that? Yes, it did. I'm going to put that in craft. Another little, oh, very taut stretch bracelet there. And it do, it looks like we have a pair of earrings there. I'm going to keep pairs to one side as well. That's a cute little Aztecian type style one. It's not Topshop or anything. That's probably new look, something like that. Um, that's, is it, are you broken or are you a double strandy? Whatever you are, you want to stay attached to this one for some reason. Here we go. Yep, it is a broken one. That'll go into craft. These look, they're very lightweight plastic. I might put that into a kid's lot. Nice long length of black glass beads here. And a long length of faux pearls. Right, so the length of faux pearls, I'll put into faux pearly lot. Same with that one. These, some are glass, I think. And then some are acrylic. 
And then, yes, we've got this long, nice long vintage strand of glass beads. I wouldn't say French jet because, like, these are, um, they don't look as, like, fine pinpoint kind of, it's hard, kind of hard to describe. They, these feel softer than French jet anyway, but um, quite nice. Go into a vintage lot. More odd earrings. That's cool, like painted wooden one. Some stretchy wooden beads. This one has got a little note attached to it. Why is that? Shell, pearl and aquamarine. Oh, okay. How do you know? How do they know? Maybe someone made it and they bought the, the beads and made it themselves. Let's see. Ah, yes, quite possibly, actually. So there you go. Those could be aquamarine beads. I might give them a test. It looks quite nicely made. So they've done like a little twist after each uh, little pearl. And then that does feel very cold. So it does feel like a gemstone. How much they were asking a tenner for that one. So we probably spent quite a while on that. I, I kind of appreciate that. I like that. I'm going to keep that aside. That got a little jingle jangle. These are sometimes silver. I'm not sure if this one is, but I'll keep it aside to test. Oh, that one matches that uh, necklace just then. So hopefully we'll find a little friend for it. A little stretchy. Another odd earring. A little cross earrings. Missing some stones. I'll put that in craft. I thought they might have been um, a bit of quartz then, but they're not cold, so I think they're acrylic. Going in the bag. Looks like I've got a little Christmas tree earring there. That's kind of fun. Got some... Uh, that's a nice shape bead. That's quite cool. It's like grey purpley colour. That's fun. Going in there. We've got another little pair of these painted wooden ones, so that's cool. Like that, put them with the pairs. That's quite a fun little faceted one. And we've got a little picture of someone there. Oh, fair trade. Here we go, a pair of fair trade earrings, new on card. Proudly South African. There we go, that goes with the pairs. A little... I'm going to put that in craft. I think someone was making a bag charm or something. Some nice little Aurora Borealis coated. Um, oh, with a 925 clasp. Nice. Do you know what? I might keep that aside to sell, perhaps in a whatnot show or something. Because it's got the silver clasp as well. So that's quite nice. Ooh, a little celtic -y style. Earring there. And then this one feels quite nice with the enamel. It's quite heavy. Can't see any marks on it, so I don't think it's silver, but I might keep it aside to test just in case. Little stretchy stretch. Oh, there you go. There's the pair to these ones. I do quite like them, even though they're not sterling, but because they're Celtic, they've definitely got a little bit of a, a market for them, so I might keep them aside as well. A little umbrella charm. I'll put that in craft. We've got a vintage style necklace, but I don't think it is actually vintage. Little sparkly bits, kind of fun. There. And then we've got these um, made out of scrolled paper. Again, probably like fair trade ones. They're quite cute. And I think we've got another pair. This is good that uh, some of the pair is coming out. So that's nice. I see someone that says simply silver, so that's a good sign. Oh yeah, we have indeed got a little silver necklace. It's quite nice. I can't remember how much I paid for this. <coughs> Pardon me. But this is definitely hopeful. I don't think it was more than £60. I can't remember. A little marker seat in there. That might be either glass or onyx. That's cool. Keep that aside. I take a drink. Oh, that's better. Another pair. I might get 
a little baggie to put the peers in actually, otherwise they'll start getting all <clears throat> lost in the mire in the shire. Wow, this one looks a bit like a like what you'd hang from a chandelier. From a chandelier. <coughs> Pardon me, you know when it's dusty. I start coughing, unfortunately. There you go, another pair there with those kind of moon glow cat's eye type ones. Um, that was what was attached to that necklace, but I don't think that's silver. And then a little sparkly broken bracelet going in craft. These wire ones, I'm just going to put straight into craft because they, they just tangle with everything. They're a right bugger, you know this. But someone can transform the beads into something more friendly. That's another kind of moon glow. Chatoyancy, look at the chatoyancy. <laughs> and we've got some kind of mother of pearl look and glass. Oh, janky one. A little collar, like a gothic collar style one. And a memory wire. Some wooden beads. <coughs> right, they've marked this one as well. Rose gold chain and crystal pendant. Cool. It's probably just rose gold plated. That is um, a Clobo style, but I don't think it is Clobo. But very pretty. That's cool. That'll probably go into a little lot though. I've got a little wooden sandal. That'll do for the beachy lot because I'm hoping that uh, they will sell well soon. <coughs> mm -mm -mm. Say no to dust. Oh, I did see that little Christmas tree. Yep. Here we go, that'll go into a Christmas lot. Right, cut that bit off. Get rid of the little tags. Ah, so, broken necklace, unfortunately, because that was the friend to that one. Never mind. Ah, there we go. So there is our pair of them, we just don't have the necklace to go with it, but never mind. So I might like the little pair. Oh, and that matches. Oh no, it doesn't. A sparkly flower one. This probably silver plated. Got little hearts and charms and things on it. Quite cute little jangler. What do you say? Made in Germany, Petra Kuffer. I do not know that name. But I will keep that aside to, um, or do I? Maybe I've had something by this person before, I'm not sure. It's very tangled in this little beady bit. Don't know what you're on about there. Is it a bracelet? Yeah, a little jangly bracelet. And this one, it looks like it's got this big bauble on it and that's where I'm thinking I might have seen it before. I possibly have had that before. It's very sparkly and fantastic, isn't it? But I'll keep that aside. That might be something to sell. That's just coming loose there, that's a shame. Faux pearly lots of them. And some more of that broken pearl necklace. A little acrylic jangly one. Oh, like gumball charms and this handmade. It's kind of fun. Got all of these that all look a bit like sweeties and stuff, like the gris all sorts and dice and things. Kind of cute. And this one has got, is that meant to be in there? I'm going to put that into craft because someone can do something with those bits. nice. So yes, we do indeed have some gold sandstone necklace or just gold stone. Oh, new one 
new with tags that's cool i like that that's definitely something that i would sell if not bring to a whatnot show or something that's cool that's stretchy this one they wanted six pounds for looks like pressed glass that nice little patterns on it though i quite like that might keep that aside it's kind of interesting Oh, I do hate having the coughs from dust. There's another little... Oh, I've lost it again. We'll find it again. Is it this one? That had a little something attached. <clears throat> so, prenite and bugle beads. Oh, wow. So someone... This must be a craft that's made these little things. I think probably silver plated bindings but prenite that's cool so a little yeah crafter has made stuff for the charity shop possibly very nice cool. <clears throat> these are pretty beads too a little faux pearl and they're possibly garnets in there i reckon yep oh dear it's making me cough. Never mind. All right, no, I don't actually think that these are silver, but they are quite cool. I'm going to put them in with the paired earrings. Do, do, do. We haven't got a match with that one yet. But is it? Oh, it looks like this is all. There's the earring. So we do have a pair and it matches this little set which it looks like attached to a possibly silver chain. I don't know. It's got the right bits for it, but I can't see marks as yet. Let's have a little detangle. If there are a couple of bits in, of silver in this, then I'm going to be well chuffed because I didn't expect. <clears throat> Come on. Yep, 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 yep. Just this final little... What do you caught on there? Oh yeah, it does look like it's silver, so that's cool. It's a handy silver chain. We just have to get it off here. Give me two seconds. While I manipulate. Oh. I need. <clears throat> Come on. Here we go. Put that back. Here we go. Right. So we've got necklace and matching earrings. So going in there. And then we've got the silver chain, which had this on it, but and a bit of hair, which is just lovely. Very nice. That is a nice um, pendant, but not for a delicate, nice chain like that. Um, so I'm going to use that for something else, and then that'll probably go into a glass pendant slot. Got a little blue uh, stretchy. <clears throat> this apparently is citrine. That's quite nice, little teardrops. Keep that aside. Let's do some more cutting out of the tags is. <clears throat> What do they say about this one? Gemstone pendant on wire. So we're not sure what gemstone. It's quite cool though. I like that. Might keep that aside. That might go in a whatnot show at some point, perhaps. <coughs> oh dear. And yep, we've got a pair there, but it's missing some stones, so I'm gonna put them in craft. Another stretchy. That looks like a little bit of stainless steel, jangly charm one. And then this one will go into a vintage lot. Over there, got some surfer type shell beads. And then this bright green enamel one, it's kind of fun. It's space age looking. Mm. All right, there was something in here, there it is. There was this, which I saw, and I was like, it could be, but I don't think it is now. I don't think it's 
quite as stout, shall we say, as Jackie Brazil. I can't see any, nope. So it's not a Jackie Brazil, but it's very much in the style of, isn't it? So, so very cool. And I'll um, probably keep that aside in case someone wants that. So we've got matching earrings to that little set as well, which is quite nice, the little Aztec ones. Big chunky beads, but that's broken. So that's going in craft. And then these plastic ones, I'll cut that off. And they can go into the kids' loft. So there. Um, so this one hasn't been used. Wooden beads. I um, might put them into a tribal lot. Can go over there. Big chunky monkey beads. Those. And that can go into a tribal lot as well. Probably like a carved bone or something. That's cool. Got a little sparkly one, possibly like a Claire's accessories kind of wedding sparkly. Pretty though with the little flowers and things. <clears throat> Purple jangly one. And that's a little pear. Lovely colour on that, kind of like a marbled plastic that one. It's got all charms, little fish and leaves and marijuana leaves. Naughty. <laughs> Uh, little black flower. All of these seem to be in pretty much good condition. There's not too much that I'm putting into um, into craft, which is good. And even the ones that are, they probably just need their clasps fixed and that's it. But I can leave that for someone else to do. That is a nice little, kind of like a faux malachite in there. They're pretty, almost like Moroccan looking. <clears throat> They're going on with the paired bits. And we got some, so that's the back of something. It's my dyed mother of pearl jangly earrings. That's a bit of hematite in there, you can tell because everything is sticking to it. That's a nice little necklace though. Like a faux citrine in there. And a bit of gallery wire, that's quite pretty. Might put that into a gold tone with pendants that we have got a broken necklace here never mind it happens wow was that oh it was a brooch but like the pins come off oh and it's just coming apart but it can be harvested used in craft somehow don't ask me how <clears throat> more in craft so yes the stretchy hematite an odd earring. I think that's made out of that friendly plastic stuff that you can melt in hot water. It's fun. I used to make loads of stuff from that when I was a kid. Some vintage beads here which look a little bit outstretched and tangled up. So we'll come back to that. Big chunky purple and blue. A nice blue on that one. I think that's actually wood rather than plastic. Ah, they did a matching necklace as well. Kind of fun. What's that attached to? I might just pop them all in here. <coughs> chunky balls. Who's got chunky balls? These are quite chunky balls actually. Um, is it Marks and Spencer? It is indeed Marks and Spencer. Funny how you keep seeing like the same things over. Ah, oh, there's another one of those. And then we've got a pair of them. That's cool. Get rid of these. And then looks like we've got another pair there. Awesome. I like it how they're all pairing up. Some acrylic beads, I think. Rather than wood. A big chunk. It's got some wear on that, so I'm going to put that one in the craft. <clears throat> Come on. Right. What are you? That's possibly silver. Balinese, maybe. Indonesian. 
can't see any marks, but you can give that a test. We'll keep that aside. And if it's broken, there's me saying like, there's not much broken stuff. And then all of the, the broken bits come out, but here we are. It's kind of fun though. And got these rings. Chain's a bit knackered though. <clears throat> all up in my grill here. So, I think that is actually a belt. So, mother of pearl and then mm, it could be stones. Possibly, no, I think they're acrylic. So I think these are proper stones. So, I might keep that aside. I might put that in the beachy lot. Mm. We'll see. And then these ones, <clears throat> oh yeah, it's going to go, it's going to go. Okay. Let's get that bit out first. These have got little faux pills in and this is about to explode. So we'll just get that in the bag out the way before it does any more damage. Get these out the way. <clears throat> That's a nice stone heart there. I don't know what the black bits are, maybe obsidian or something. It's kind of cool though. I'm gonna keep that aside, it's an interesting bit. And then little, that'll come off, I'll go in there. Oh, I see some more gold stone coming. Another bit that's, uh, yeah, so there you go, there's a matching bracelet to that bit of gold stone. So, again, with the, the little tag on it. So that's cool, so a little matching bracelet, new with tags. Possibly might be silver as well. Maybe like a low grade silver perhaps. I quite like it though with these little hearts. It's kind of fun. And then that was that that's broken off there. So we'll put that in craft. I like that one. That's nice. I don't think it's silver or if it is, it's a very low grade silver. But very 90s that. I'm sure I wore something almost identical to that in the 90s. Quite like that. We will keep it aside to test, but I don't think it is actually going to be silver. And what on earth is this? It looks a bit bonkers. Okay. Ah, I see. All right, it's all like rings going through there. Kind of fun. And there's that. Ah, there's two of them. There we go. Just one for you and one for a friend. Lovely. And some wooden beaded ones. I'll probably put that into a tribal lot as well. Right, what's this little ball chain? Little Sputnik dude. He's kind of fun, isn't he? And then this one, again, I think is going to be... If anything, a low grade silver, but maybe not. But again, I'll keep it aside to test. I don't think it's going to be silver, but you never know. Things might just turn into silver while they, while they sit there and have a think about what they've done. Little rose gold one. I finally got on this one out. These are all painted wooden bits. And long one. Now don't forget, over on Whatnot pretty soon, not this weekend, but next weekend, I'm doing a request show. So if there's any jewellery you're kind of looking for, I can go through the hoards and see if I've got it or something that you're kind of after and see if it goes. See if I get it right. <laughs> right, you know all of these faux pearls are going to go into a faux pearl lot if only I can get the buggers out. Because that is one continuous strand there by the looks of it. Quit it guys, come on. 
And that's caught on there, and that's caught on there, and that's caught on there, just caught on there. Right. I'll deal with you lot later. Grr, arg. It's a fun little tassel. It's got all of its stones there. Nice long one. Feels like glass. Very sparkly. So I'll put that into here. And what were you? This is going to be a stainless steel one, I think. Pretty flowers. Let's get you off there. I'll put that one into a silver tone pendant necklace lot. Oh, a tulip. That's quite cute, isn't it? With little tulips at the end. And it's adjustable. Unusual. Hmm. That's good in me, though. Um, got a little one with a feather on it, a bit kind of Navajo inspired. Oh, that's a little brooch. A pin brooch, kind of fun. Might put that into a brooch's lot. And we've got a very kind of Chanel inspired pearly with a big flower on it. But I'll put that into a pearly lot. And probably these ones as well. That's a vintage multi strand one. This again, very kind of 90s looking with the little flowers and stuff. It's kind of fun. more odd earrings there and that one that looks like a little tulip as well and that little mother of pearl oh <laughs> oh that's cute so it's a little clip on bow thing and then it's got little charms a little eiffel tower and a pair of sunglasses it's silly <laughs> little pair of yeah, they feel quite cold. I don't think they're silver. And that'll come in the pair lots over there. And another pair made up. That's cool. Memory wire, you are evil. So you can instantly go over there and think about what you've done. That might be silver, maybe not. But that does look like a proper gemstone there. Like maybe a bit of carnelian. And something's broken in there. I can hear things rattling around, so that's great. Um, oh, how does this work? Ah, so that toggle goes through at the front there, like so. What do you say? Pilgrim. Ah, oh, there we go. That's cool. Nice. It's in pretty decent condition. That might be something I'd sell. Little heart. Ah, that possibly matches that. Cute. I might put that in a silver tone necklace lot. I'm going to start coughing again in a minute because it's quite dusty. There we go. A bit better. Jangly earrings on their card or on a card. Little orange sparkler. Oh, I see the, there's the other one to that one to the little carnelian style ones. They are pretty, but they're not silver, unfortunately. Cute though. Keep them with the paired earrings. And then there's that one. But yeah, lots of pairs coming through. It's good, good stuff. What are you? Silver chain? I do believe. Yep, I can see marks on there. It says 925. Uh, and then on the side there as well. Brilliant. Little 925 sparkly necklace. Awesome. So yeah, I feel quite chuffed with this little lot. Oof, mega stretchy bangle. 
And this one is a beast. Hang on, let me. A yowza. Oh, missing a bit there. Shame, but a crafter will have fun with all of these. Like a pair of earrings, pair of earrings, pair of earrings, isn't it? That's cool. That's going in there. Little vintage drop earring. And a tiny little drop earring. What's even the point of that? Little pear from Allusions. I'm just making that sound French and posh now. Really. Allusions. <laughs> a little fashion jewellery set. So you've got the earrings and you've got like the the things that look like chandelier bits. And then that's a pear. Little orange ones. Little sparkly bracelet. And a purple sparkly vintage one. Quite nice little seed beads. It's got nice beads in it as well, like very colourful little, almost a aurora borealis. Almost got like a look of um, Labradorite to them, but I don't think they are. But they're very sparkly, like, it's quite nice. It's quite nice. It's not going to go into a lot though, because it's me. Right, let's get rid of these. Oh, I see another thing signed like Pilgrim there. So that's cool. And there's a pair of earrings. So yep, Danish design, pilgrim. Nice little flower with a little pink stone. That's cool, keep it aside. Um, these are unsilver. How rude. And a little bit of abalone. And a big jangly necklace. Is that meant to be like that? I don't think so. I think that's going to go into it. A broken lot. There's the last bit and then some bits in there. We've got some some from Boots. Boots Solutions. These are probably 80s or 90s, aren't they? Nickel free for sensitive skin. There you go. A little pair there. Little charms, little fishies and things, little cross. Some very nice glass beads. That's nice and faceted, proper sparkly. A little stretch wooden one. Choker. Is it meant to have something in the middle there, do you think? I don't know, it doesn't look broken, so perhaps, yeah, it's meant to be like that. Okay, okay, cool. You do you, boo. And a wrappy roundy one. So I'm kind of faux mother of pearl, but it's very knackered, that one. This one looks quite cool. And let's move some bits out of the way. Ah, matching earring to that pilgrim one. So let's hope that there's another one in here somewhere. I can't see it just, oh yes, I can. There we go. So we do indeed have a matching set for the pilgrim. So that's cool, I can sell them together. And then there's that teardrop that was missing from that necklace. But there we go. Get rid of them. So we've got a little bit of hematite and goldstone in there as well. And I see a little pair of cross pearly earrings. They're kind of fun vintage look. Put them in with the vintage lot. Um, are they real pills? I don't think so. And then those, that's a pair of earrings. There we go. Let's put them in there. Right, we wanted to have a look at this one. This is a chunk. Look at that. That's kind of fun though. That might be something I'd sell. And also it brings with it a match to these abalone ones. Yeah, that's kind of cool. That'd be nice for... Nice for summer holiday, nice for the beach, isn't it? All these wooden beads and then this like coral kind of look. That's cool, that's something I'd like to try and sell. That's missing a couple of stones in there, but can still be fixed or harvest. A little stretch, but I think that's going to go. Get 
tin. And some more vintage seed bead ones with a little barrel clasp, but again, that looks like it's gonna go. I saw a string hanging off there. bit ratty on the, the things there. Put that in craft. Right, now we're just down to the last littles. There's the remnants of a broken pearly in there. Right, so we've got a broken brooch. But that'll go into a broken brooch's lot. Got a match to that earring, so that's cool. Lots of nice pairs. I uh, don't think we had that earring. Another little broken brooch, little wooden stretch. Oh, what did I do? Oh, there it is. Here we go. The pair of the, the fun plasticky ones. That's the looks like the top of. An earring that's broken. Did we have that one? I think we did. So that's a pair. And the little tulips are a pair, or whatever flower that is. That looks like it's silver, missing a stone from the middle. And I don't even know what that is. We've got this other pair. That's cool. And then uh, the little vintage pearly ones. You can go in a vintage lot. Yeah, don't you? Ah, uh, that's a bit of that broken brooch. That's a phone charm thing. These. And ah, these are silver as well by the looks of it. Um, indeed, says 925. They possibly even, are they meant to go with that? I think it's signed the same. So they may be like trying to be a matching set. So that's cool. And then we've got lots of little broken bits of stuff, which is just lovely. And then we've got some a couple of things in baggies. Oh, and there's oh hang on, there's some more stuff down here that's escaped. Escape. So in here. Yeah, those are okay. These are kind of fun. So we've got a matching set of faux tortoiseshell, very fun earrings and necklace. So I'm going to put them back in the baggie together. That's cool. And then in here we've got some faux Pandora, little Christmassy looking ones. At least these are not actually pretending to be sterling silver, which is good. I appreciate that. That will go into the European charm slot. So we've got that little pair of flowers. And then we've got this little pair of the kind of full moonstones. We've got the other silver one that's missing stones from the middle. And we've got a little cross, but that was broken anyway. That, which is a pair. And then... These little bits that will go into craft, all these little beads and things. And I'll pop all of these in craft as well. And there we go. Right. So we've got some cool and unusual bits and some things to test. Let me get that out. Right, so definite silvers, them. They're possibly even like Kit Heath or something. Let's see. Um, yeah, I think they might be, you know, Kit Heath 05, I think it says, but they probably would have had little garnets or something in the middle, but that's a shame, never mind. But we do have this little set. That's cute. Um, and then we've got this simply silver one. So necklace and earrings, necklace, and then a chain, and then some scrap earrings there. And then we've got these bits to test, which I don't think are gonna be silver, but it's always worth checking, because you never know. I mean, I would still, I would still sell that, because I think it's 
very cool and like I said is what I would have worn back in the 90s it's not looking like it's silver and I don't think that one is either but I still like it sorry if you're wobbling by the way no I don't think that one is I'm just going to test one bead on this one. I don't think that one is. And then this little jangly one. Nope. I'm not even going to waste my acid on them because none of them are silver. But I do still like them. So I might put that into, well, these two into my tribal lot possibly. Um, and that went into the beachy lot because who doesn't love a little jangly ankle chain on the beach? And then these ones I'll sell anyway because I just think they're cool and I like them. And let me just get these things out of the way. Let me. Um, yeah, so a couple of bits of silver, some cool bits of vintage jewelry, a lovely big chunk. Some nice gold stone, the matching pilgrim set, which is nice. And then all of the things that was made by that crafter as well. So I'm quite pleased with that. I think I think I've done okay. So if there's been something here that you fancied, um, please do let me know. Email me. Email address is underneath every single video. And um, please contact me that way. Um, please don't contact me through eBay or Etsy or anything like that, um, if you don't mind. Thank you very much. Okay, and um, I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye.